Man, how many times have I, is anyone counting how many times I've said, like, this is one of my favorite things? Because it really is. It's all one of my favorite things. So we're going to go back. I'm going to go back to this page because now I want to make this slightly smaller. So we have to scooch these guys up a little bit. Position tidy up. Seriously, guys, it makes my life so much easier. And I wanted to share that with somebody. I'm like, you guys will appreciate that. I'm sure that there's an easier way to do this. But one of my favorite things to do for like, if you're doing a bullet journal page, we're going to duplicate that page, get rid of the word notes, and then moving you guys all down to the bottom, duplicate some of these lines. I'm not kidding. This is like, this is just fun. And maybe you guys are like, whoa, there's a lot of information here. I apologize. But I'm trying to make this as like easy for you guys to see happening as possible. Because honestly, I'm like, if we can make creating things in Canva easier, then awesome. Let's make this easy. Let's make this easy, guys. So we're going to copy this. And before I paste it, we're going to hit Command A and we're going to group all of these so that they do not get mixed up in this next thing that we're going to do, which is going to be a little bit cray cray. So we're going to paste this and then we are going to turn it. We're going to make it in a different direction. Make sure that it's 90 degrees. Make sure that all of them go to the bottom line. Sorry, if you hold shift and you click on things, it will allow you to pick a bunch of different things that you can click on and go and paste them without like freaking out that you're messing something up. So we're going to copy and paste, paste again, <laughs> paste again, and we're going to see what we got here. And if this works, now I want to make sure that I'm not on the background. I'm not, we're going to do our position. We're going to do our tidy up. And now we have our grid. Ta-da! So this is really like, you can make this as fun as you want it to be. And here's the thing that I think is really important to mention. When we are making our things for our people, whether it is a paid product or a free product, um, we have to remember that all of this is just to help our people. So when you're doing a free product, you don't want to overwhelm them with so much stuff that they're like, well, if I can't do this free stuff, then how am I ever going to be able to do the paid stuff? We want to make sure that our people feel like they can do it. So we don't want to overwhelm them with the freebies that we give them. We want to make sure that we're giving them just enough information to feel like, oh, I can do this. So with the bullet journal, you don't have to spend oodles and oodles of time on pages. Same thing with planner pages. You don't have to spend so much time that you feel like you're going to go crazy like trying to do this. It is as simple as you want to make it. It is as as doable as you want to make it. So I hope that that made sense. Like that's my little product creation tangent because I love to talk about products. So let's go back down really quick to our check boxes because this is one of my, man, how many times have I, is anyone counting how many times I've said like, this is one of my favorite things because it really is. It's all one of my favorite things. So let's go ahead and make a checkbox. So I wanted to show you some of the other ones. These are all ones that I just threw together that I designed. Um, I love gold things. I don't know if you've picked up on that through any of my branding. I love gold things. This is, I think, um, a paid for product inside of Canva is the, or paid. If you have Canva Pro versus the free version, you can get these. Um, there's a lot of different elements that you can get if you have the paid for plan. That was the word I was looking for. Um, so I wanted to show you guys, there's some things that you can do to make these your own little pages. So this is how I started was I picked, I'm gonna zoom in because it's really hard to see. I picked one, come on, come on. I picked one of these check boxes so that you can see what it's gonna look like. I took this guy right here at the, this guy, whoop, this fella. I made this guy, I was like, you know what? This one really speaks to my soul. It seems like it would be really easy for a person to check off to be able to see it, acknowledge that it is a checkbox, and then go from there. Highlight all of it that we want. We're going to Command G, which turns it into a group, and then we are going to Command C and take it over to this page. We're gonna Command V, which is paste, and then we are going to drag it to be the size that we want. And because it's going to be in a little checkboxy like this, we're going to make it that same size. 
this is where it gets like a little bit confusing, but I promise you're not going to hate me once I'm done. So I've added my line again over in lines and shapes. Super simple. Um, I'm going to make the weight two so that you can see it, but it's not going to be super thick. Oops. I said two. <clears throat> two. There we go. So that you can see it. And now I'm going to get rid of this guy. I get rid of you. And now I'm going to ungroup this one because we want, we're going somewhere. I promise. Once we have this alignment where we want it, um, I like to align things so that there's space, so that there's a little bit space in between so that you can see the delineation between the checkbox and the line itself, but you can still see the checkbox so that it's cute. Um, and then once we've gotten the spacing so that we like it, we're going to ungroup this guy and then regroup these guys together. And here's why. Remember the tidying up thing that I talked about? We're going to copy and paste this whole thing because if we hadn't grouped them together, um, it would really mess things up if you go to tidy them up. I mean, if you really want to, I can show you what it looks like, but it is a hot mess. So what we want to do is I start usually with the top and the bottom. So let's say that I have, this is the bottom one. <laughs> it's literally like, does this look okay? Okay, ready? Hot mess too. <gasps> and they're all lined up and they're all lined up. This is the perfect way to like make sure that you have everything lined up. And here's something else that's really cool is if you're like, you know, there's not enough space up here for a header. You can just get rid of this top block. And there it is. And so now we've made this really cool checkbox page. And we started off with a bunch of different designs. You start with them bigger so that you can kind of design them and see what you like about it. If you really don't like this color, you can change it. And it's just, it makes it so easy. So we're going to scroll back up here. Whoop, we're going to get rid of some of these pages as we go. We're going to scroll back up here, grab this. Let's see. We're going to grab this guy, copy it, scroll back down here, because I want to make sure that the fonts stay the same throughout this entire thing. And we're going to move this here. And you want to give it, let's see, a cool name. So let's say my cool breakfast because I am a millennial and I'm not cool anymore, apparently. <laughs> so there we have it. And now we've, we've got our background, which we are going to change in a minute. We have our title. We have our check boxes. This can be something where you are able to come in and fill things out. Now we're going to duplicate this again because I am nothing if not a glutton for punishment. We're going to delete everything and we're going to ungroup this because what I want to do here is add a text that's going to go on top of this line. So let's say that you want to give them a checklist that they're going to be able to fill out. So we're going to move this guy up a little bit so that it's kind of in the middle. Oh, move the text down a little bit so that it's right there. And we're going to say checklist item. So let's say that you want to make sure that you are giving them, let's see, like a place to, or you want to give them like, let's say 10 things that they need to do, right? So we want to drag this over here, promise I'm going somewhere, make sure that that aligns with that because everything comes back to alignment, bring that down just a little bit. That means that this has to come down just a little bit. Woo. Now we are going to group this and now we are going to copy and paste and bring this all the way down to the bottom. And then we're going to do that again and again and again. Let's say, do we want 10? One, two, three, four, five, six, whoops, copy, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. That's right. We're going to highlight all of them. We are going to tidy them up. They went alignment in a different direction bring them to the center. And now we have our nice big checklist. Ta -da! So because we're going to go off of this, all of this, I want to continue to show you guys is building off of everything. Everything is just building up off of something that you've already created. And once we have these pages done, you can save them in Canva as like a, a template for yourself to create other things in the future.
The whole thing about this is just to make things easy and fun for you. Because honestly, I don't know about you guys, but like if things are fun and easy, I'll do them. But if they're difficult and tedious, I'm not gonna do them. Which is why I had avoided Can Canva for so long. <laughs>